Um, so let, let's transition to the Mets, Alfred, because this is your team. This is your club, right? They, listen, they, they had a tough go this weekend, right? They got swept by the Brewers at City Field, and this is a Brewers team that, um, after trading Corbin Burns, uh, Brandon Woodruff isn't pitching this year, right? Like, this was a team that I think most people, they don't have Devin Williams for the first three or four months of the year. Like, th this is a team that, I think most people were projecting to kind of take a big step back. Now, I think probably the same thing could be said about the Mets from where they started last season, right? Because I think most people, you know, had the impression of the Mets last year, at the beginning of last year, that the Mets were a potential playoff team. I don't know that anybody really thought that going into this year. This was a team that obviously their message even coming in from their owner was saying, we're setting up for 2025. Right. Like that's really the target year. But right right now, right, right out of the bat, right off the bat, because I want to this is your team. Right. What were your impressions? And we'll get into Reese Hoskins in a minute. But what were your impressions from the Mets first series of the season? And, and again, the expectations might be low, but what are your impressions? Well, I before I answer that question, I already have the Mets losing 90 games this season. So, um wow. Front front office did nothing in the off season. You you go out and you get uh, Joey Wendell and G Man Choi and you know scraps bench scraps from other teams. Uh, you you get J D Martinez at the last minute possible, so he didn't even he didn't even have a proper spring training or a camp. Yeah. Um, you know it, it's it's just frustrating. You know we have the richest owner in all of baseball, and the G M he hires is. Decides to be a cheap bastard, and for lack of a better term, <laughs> no, the guy Steve Cohen in a, in a, in a, in, a, in the span of one year, one year, goes from I'm willing to spend money to win and do whatever it takes. I'm gonna bring a World Series to Queens to going. Oh, it was a yeah, to going. Oh, uh, I made a bunch of bad investments, so uh, let's start this thing over. And now I'm gonna be hesitant to spend all this money that uh, that I have yeah. because we didn't win last year. So it, it, to me, it's a disservice to the fan base because, in my opinion, you're supposed to field the best team possible. But, um, no, this is a sign of things to come this weekend. You look at these games, the team have played with no heart, uh, uncompetitive. The offense is flat. They lost opening day. They only had one hit the whole game, one which was Starling Marte yeah. home run. I'm yeah. glad to see Starling Marte remembers how to hit home runs. Starling uh, Marte, by the way. But just just a quick update on this game, and this kind of tacks onto your point as well. The Mets only have two hits so far in this game. Starling Marte has one of them. Exactly. So I'm I'm glad Starling Marte has remembered how to hit, but it, 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 it's it's frustrating. And then the one game they were actually competitive in Saturday, they still lost. Yeah. Tyler McGill, he, he he overworked himself in the game yesterday. He lands on the IL with a shoulder strain today. Yep. So the last that we already have Kodai Senga out to begin the season the last yeah. thing we need is another is another rotation arm gone yeah this this rotation is 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 not one that can afford injuries as you're looking at it right here right Kodai Senga uh already on the injured list David Peterson as well on the injured list um now you're seeing Tyler McGill go heading on to the injured list I mean obviously you're going to see some new names in that rotation but um listen it was a rough start for Luis Severino obviously we saw that uh, in game two of that series, but yeah, Hey, listen, I, two, two, it hasn't been all bad yet for the Mets though. I will say this: Sean Manaya is carrying a no hitter into the sixth inning, uh, seven strikeouts, no hits for Sean Manaya for the Mets against the Detroit Tigers, uh, so far today, obviously I'll, 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 do I have any wood around here that I can knock on? So 90, 90 games, Mike, don't be surprised when it happens. 90 games. <laughs> Well, we're hey, going, we're not winning 90 games. We're going to lose 90 games. Well, hey, listen, I, I I don't know that I disagree. I mean, this is where Pakota had them uh, ranked to start the season. This is what the win totals were. They have them projected at 83 and 79. And I thought, I think Dalton and I both said this when we were going over the East Divisions last week. I think both of us kind of said that that was a little generous. And, and the thing that we were really surprised about, and I kind of want to get your thoughts on this too, like I said, I don't want to spend too much time on it because we don't expect much from them this year. But the, I thought we were both under the impression that we were that they were giving the both the Mets and the Marlins 
too many wins and not enough wins to the Washington Nationals. I mean, 58 and 104 for the Washington Nationals is like, in my opinion, it's disrespectfully low. <laughs> that is a crazy low win. total. I think they're a better, they're young and they don't have a lot of experienced major league players, but I think they're better than a 58 win team. No. I think 58 is, uh, is accurate for them. They're, yeah. they're, they're, they're like the one triple a team that gets to play major league baseball. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I just, I'm a little, I, I think that I, for me, I think that might be a little bit low.